What's the odds of a pig ripping your whole femoral artery out? Uh, in Afrikaans, it's slachtane. It's the long teeth they grow out. Pig is like people, they eat anything. That's why we call it the wild, wild east, because there's a lot of critical calls in this area. They say if you're a student, you want to get good calls, you come to Joburg East. A lot of people that bleed that severely, I mean, your femoral artery, you bleed out within minutes. Um, for him to survive that case, was, uh, it, was, it was unique, I must say. It was a miracle, that's what I think it was. We had the big pigs, but now only the small pigs and with some geese on it and two goats. And yeah, it's two chickens. It was like just for fun, to see how big the pigs grow and how it works. I saw the white stuff coming out of his mouth, but I thought, okay, but let me just get him close because he's already aggressive and irritated. I just turned my back for like two seconds when I look around and just saw blood flowing out of my leg. And by the time, like I said, when he got to us, he was, he was pretty much bled out. He was very critical. His blood pressure was in his boots. Um, he was very pale. He was in and out of consciousness now. So for that case, it was, it, it was a bit of a unique case. You know, usually people bled out by either going in car accidents, cutting themselves. This was an animal that did that. And I just shouted to my mom, big boy. And then she called my dad and his nephew. They carried me in the kitchen. And yeah, put my legs on a table. And yeah, in 10 minutes time, then they moved. Watch was there. They st just got the blood stopped to flow. They took me in their van halfway. And I couldn't remember a lot there. The ambulance was getting dispatched from Benoni. They were in Dalmas. That's quite, that's over 60 kilometers. We intercepted, we went, and I did what I needed to do en route. Put up a drip to get volume up so I can get his blood pressure up. We stopped the bleeding early and get him to hospital as soon as possible. Sometimes I get breakdowns of what happened. I start crying and just say, why, why, why did it happen? Yeah, and then I just start doing, getting busy with my hands and stuff. Like I think maybe there is a purpose for me in life, even though this happened. Call 084124 because you're not trained in trauma. Don't play in a scene, quick. You get him loaded and you go to hospital. We call it the golden hour. And that's where you want these patients. You want the moment that incident happens for them to get uh, to hospital as soon as possible. Very unusual. I um, didn't expect ever I would lay in an ICU. But yeah, it changed my way of seeing things in life and yeah, feeling, yeah, you can get out of this, you can fight it. Feel you fighting the whole world and you're just alone, but in the meantime, you have all the people behind you. I still have my leg, and uh, that's all I could be thank thankful.